How to send emails directly from your Flutter app and this works on Android, iOS and also Flutter web. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We use the service email.js to send our emails, so go to this website and click here on sign up for free. Enter your details and click on sign up. Next you need to click on add new service and then choose here your email provider from which you want to send your email messages, so I take Gmail. Click here then on connect account. Sign in with your Google email and make sure that you check here this box and then go down and click on continue. Next go here to email templates and create a new template. We want to set later the subject dynamically and therefore I add here a field user subject that we can later fill. Next you can also define the content of your email, so in our case we want to later dynamically change here this user message and also the username that is then displayed at the end of this message. And lastly you can go to the top right corner and here you can then specify to whom you want to send this email. And we also want to change here the reply to where I put then the user email inside that we can later dynamically define. Make sure to click here on the top right corner on save. Next go to your Flutter project and create the send email method and here we require then the name, email, subject and message that you can also fill here inside of this form on the right side. We have created this form in another video which I will also link under this video in the description. And we want to send now a request to the REST API of this email GS service. Therefore we make here a POST request with this HTTP package to exactly this URL that is here specified on the right side. And next to it we also need to define here some parameters. So we need to define the service ID, the template ID and the user ID mandatory. To do this you go to the POST request and here you have then a body property where we specify then all of these IDs. And secondly, we create here then the fields at the top that we want to fill right now with the right data from this email GS service. So first of all, go here to the email services and then you basically click here on it and then copy here the service ID. Paste it here then inside. After this, close this window and go to the email templates and also click on this one and go to the settings. Copy here also the template ID and paste it also into your Flutter project. And lastly you go here to the integration and then you copy here this user ID and also paste it then here inside of this user ID field. And by the way to make this work you also need to import here this HTTP package at the top of your file. So make sure that you have this here inside and also go to your pubspec jaml file and here under your dependencies you need to include then this HTTP package. Let's go back to the send email message and here within this post method you also need to include then some headers. So first of all you need to add this application JSON header and this is really important. And secondly you also need to encode this body property to a JSON format. And lastly we want to specify then also in our request here the name, email, subject and message that we also have here within this form. Therefore you have here this template parameter where you can put all of this extra data inside that is later used inside of our template. And therefore simply go to the body property and here you add then this template parameter and inside of it you can then put your custom parameters inside. Let's go back to the browser and click on email templates and go here to your template. And here you see we have user subject user message, username and also user email and these are exactly the ones that we also need to define then here and they will then be used inside of our template file. And that's it, so let's try it out. I click here on send and you see that we get here directly the email that the user has put here inside. So basically we see here the name that he has typed inside and this is going then here. Also his main message which is then the message that he has typed here and the subject which is then here at the top and his email is also going then to the reply to. And this means if I click here now on reply, then you see that the test email is filled that the user has filled before inside of our form. And with this you can then easily reply to the user that has filled here your form on the right side. If you try to send this email from your Android or iOS device, then this is not working. And if you print your response body, then you get here this error message that the API calls are disabled for non-browser applications. To fix this quickly, you simply go inside of your header and then we want to pretend that we are here a web browser. 
Let's try it again out from our Android or iOS device. And this time it says email sent successfully. And you also see here then this email that we got here through our form on our mobile device. Right now we are always sending all the emails that are filled inside of our form to this email address and you could also change it, so make it simply dynamic. Make also sure to click here on save and now we can use this to email inside of our request. So simply add here your to email and then you can specify any email to whom you want to send this message. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.